Oh, it's your boy LAK. Holla at your boy. That's TV. You already know what it is. Late Bloomers. You already know what it is. I can't say no cap because my name on my cap. You already know what it is. Sometimes I rock it, sometimes I don't. We just gonna leave this here for advertisement for the new batch that's coming now. Yeah. Link is gonna be in the description. The new hats on deck. I'll let your boy. So yeah, you already know what it is. Slate Bloom K. Let me adjust the camera real quick. Mm. I want to talk about how effortless it is to be yourself in all environments that um you have to adjust to. And sometimes you don't have to adjust to it because you always gonna be you no matter um, what circumstances you're uh, a part of. Today's a beautiful day. I hear the birds chirping. I see the scenery, I see how green the grass is, I see how blue the sky is. The sun is shining on me. Right. And um, I received the invitation that nature has to offer. Knowing that I'm always welcome because I make the scenery pop out, vice versa. I'm complimentary to my surroundings. You gotta be grateful for that. You gotta be grateful for your surroundings and grateful that you can make your surroundings look good and your surroundings can make you look good, right? Without trying. Look how the drapes drip off of me. So eloquent. Ever since I can remember, I've always been invited to events, to meet people of importance. Um, to situations that would have to um, heighten people around me, right? And to be a part of a, a system that needed um, winning systematic strategies that can take their brand or their self-esteem to a higher level. And I've been able to acquire those things from um, certain people and certain teachings that I had to learn on my own. Therefore, the experience that I have always led me to be a part of situations that put me in position to always evolve.
And with me saying that, I'm saying, what's the purpose of you being a part of a situation or a system or a community or a, um, or a strategy or a template that can make you go to the next level? Like, what's what's, what's the um, what's the purpose of it? Because I don't want to belong to something if I can't get better at something. I don't want to belong to a situation or a group that just makes me look good if I can't just exercise my excellence. So I want to be a part of systems that make me look good and put me in position to be the best at what I'm doing. And I want to be a part of a system that allows me to exercise my expertise without being threatened by my skill set. So one doesn't try to dim or hinder um, my abilities to be one of a God, a um, illuminated human being exercised uh, personnel of greatness. So I got to be a part of systems that make me become excellent and make me stand out while I'm So if I'm going to be a part of a group or a system, I want to know, like, okay, this person, see, don't cap. Boom. This person has these abilities that they need to work on, right? We're going to help you with that. Just to stand next to me, you got to be great. You don't gotta be greater or less great. You just gotta be great in your own right. So what is the purpose of you being a part of my existence and standing next to me in your own right? And how did I compliment you, not just by taking a picture and using your, your personnel for clout or to gain followers or fans, how can I just be present in your presence to make me look good? You know, and vice versa. So I've always been, like I said, invited because of what I could do. Yo, K, we want you to come to this party, man. We need you to come through, man. You got to come through, man. Come on, man, we need that energy. Boom, K, you've been invited to the Olympics. Yo, we need you to come through. Yo, I want you to come to this school, man. I need this school, this school, like, you know, I think it'll be a good fit for you, for, for what you're trying to do. Yo, yo, why don't you come here? Yo, yo, why don't you do this, man? Why don't you, why don't you be a part of this? Yo, why don't you be a part of my label, man? I want you to be a part of my label. Yo, I want you to be, I want you to be my main artist, man. I want you to be, I want you to be that dude, man. Yo, I want you to be, I want you to be my husband. Yeah, I want you to be that guy. Yo, I want you to, I want you to be on my team. I want you to call the shots. Yo, I want you to be the quarterback. K, you call the plays now. Yo, K, how you fix this? How you put this together? How you say this? Yo, what would you do in this situation? I've been invited to roles of leadership. Not always by choice. It's just the way it is. And it is what it is, right? Yo, K, either though I'm older than you, my big bro. I look up to you, dog. What would you 
do in this situation? How would you move in this situation? What would you say in this circumstance? I appreciate you, bro. Yeah. So being a part of a system or being a part of a, a community, right? Or being in a relationship. Um, how can you make me look great, right? How can we go out tonight and have a great experience and have a great night out? How can you hang out with me and become better, right? How can we indulge into what we indulge in and on come out on the uh, on the um, on the end of things and be like, "Yo, I got better at this." Or, you made me better at this, or I made you better at that. How, how did you do that, right? Um, what was the purpose? Are you fulfilled in being a part of this group or this community or this uh, system? Did that make you feel better? Did, did that heighten you? Um, are you able to withstand the pressure of being criticized and critiqued and how can you go about that in a way that um, makes you exercise your greatness right You gotta know your purpose in that. So what's my purpose for hanging around with you? What levels are we trying to reach? What goals are we trying to obtain? What is the branding? What is the the the, the dialogue? What is the lexicon of what you're trying to do? What is the purpose? What is the um, experience that you're trying to obtain? What is the uh, levels that you're trying to reach? Um, how are you gonna get there? And is it wise for you to disrespect the leader? in order to gain respect or to reach a level that you acquire or you are trying to acquire or obtain, right? And are you willing to accept that you will be disrespected and you will be distracted and you will be um, Put in situations that will try to derail you from your success and are you accepting of that knowing that you are a leader or you are a part of a system that you've accepted the personnel and position and you're willing to play that role in order to gain some type of excellence in what you're doing. Being young or in playing sports, I've always wanted to be a part of groups and be in groups. And then sometimes you learn that once you get inside of a group, you start to learn the individuality of the group members. And you start to see the individual goals of what each person is trying to obtain. And sometimes those groups don't fit your desires based off of the level of success that you're trying to reach. And, and that's why sports is so important because you get to see the trade-offs 
of what makes a winning enterprise, a winning team, a winning system, and why players follow a system and what, what system works for them and what system works for them. And they get to exercise those options of going to different teams and also exercising the option of being a franchise player and representing your own brand. So are you comfortable with having the options of having your own to be the boss and operator of your ecosystem and putting people in place to be a part of that entity? Or are you comfortable with just being a part of a system or community that just tells you what to do and when to do it and how to move and stuff like that? So are you happy with those things? Do you, are you expressive in those roles? Are you vocal in those roles? Are you threatened by disagreements within the system? Or do they actually make you better by taking the critique and applying the critique to make it better for you? in the betterment of your role or position of what you're trying to do. Can you take judgment and um, use it to defy the judgment that one places on you or the limitations that one, one places on you? So the goal is basically like, What is your purpose of being a part of groups that um, that are just popular with no growth of individuality and skill or excellence? purpose of that and um, what is wrong with being a part of entities and standing alone in the um, growth of oneself to self identify your individual skill sets that you would have to rely on just in case um, something was to happen that would have to separate you guys or girls for momentary um, situations. Can you stand alone? And does not belonging to a system or a group define who you are and does it define what you do as a man and as a human and as a, um, a visionary and are you a visionary in that aspect of life? And can you be frowned upon for being a visionary to having visions that one doesn't understand or get at all? And can you stick to the vision knowing that no one understands the vision or only a certain amount of people understand that vision and want to see it come to light? So that goes to show you 
What's the purpose of what you're doing? Anything that I do has a purpose. Right? I observe it. Observe what I'm trying to do. Get a subject. Make a decision. And I apply the action. Right? And I apply the action, therefore giving me skills and giving me experience that enhances my skills for me to even speak like this or to present skill sets that one may be wary of or doubtful of only because they haven't experienced or they're afraid to go beyond a certain limitation? And are you willing to create your own story? That increases your value. Increases your value. That's what I noticed, like, someone says, like, yo, what is this situation worth, right? Or what, what do you value yourself at? And we're living in a world where we thought, like, trillion dollars and stuff like that was non-existent until it, it was existed, right? So I'm presenting myself as a man of wealth and a man of um, value. I'm not afraid to throw a number out there like a trillion dollars. <laughs> I'm not. A, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not afraid to make a song called a trillion. I'm not. A, I'm not afraid to say you gotta book me for um, a half a million for three hours. Like, I'm not afraid to say stuff like that. And. I'm humble enough to know that there are increments into getting to certain levels. And I'm wise enough to know that there's also situations where require me to have that sense of value because those experiences and those situations exist. And if I don't put myself out there in the universe and present myself as such, then I would just live a fantasy in my mind of creating that stuff. And I can't live in a fantasy of uh, not having it, or not applying it, or not making um, a jump to the life that in my head I live and I'm already uh, constructing as far as my storyline of what I wanted to do, right? So I'm wise enough to present myself as such and also wise enough to not argue with anyone of why my value is as such based off my natural abilities and based off my taught skill sets, right? And based off of common sense of what and who I am, right? And being expressive and being um, straightforward with those situations and being able to deal with someone saying, okay, that's too rich for my blood, right? And also someone saying, you fit exactly where we want you to be. Like, that's where we see you. That's how I see you. You fit the criteria of this situation. Hop on. Right? So what is the purpose of you being in um, these groups and 
the denouncing and the critique of what you're not or what you are, are you comfortable with someone critiquing of what you're not and what, you, or what they think you're not? And can you apply what needs to be done or can you, or are you offended? So are, are you able to uh, live with the give and the take of that heightens your skills to the next level right and can you perform within those circumstances of being great and being in certain in certain situations that allow you to perform on levels of excellence no matter what's going on around you. Right. And can you look as sexy as I do while doing it? <laughs> so yeah, man, like someone saying you're not accepted or you're not invited or you're not, you don't belong here. I'll create the castle. <laughs> I'll create the, the experience. I'll create the vibe. I'll create the structure. I'll create the platform. I'll create the energy. And half of the time or the most of the times I am the energy for the people who's telling me that I don't belong or I'm not invited. Because they don't possess the energy. Or they don't know how to tap into the energy yet. And that's just the facts. And um, you'll be in certain situations that um, there'll be attempts to reduce your energy test of faith and the test of who you are, which is your testimony, your testimony, you feel me, you'll, you'll evolve into that um, God that you are and reach the God levels that you desire to be and that you are already, but you're just in the process of mastering the pro levels so once again it's your boy LAK I'll let your boy what is the purpose of you being a part of the entity of the group and what skill set do you bring to the per, uh, to your person now and what position are you in and does your position fulfill the roles that you desire to play And are you living and doing what you desire to do, the way you want to do it, and how you want to do it? By looking as sexy as I am. Holla at your boy, it's your boy LAK, Late Blooms, Us TV. New products on the awesome stores, new merch coming. Holla at your boy, Jazz America. You already know what it is. New music every day. Link in description. You already know. LAK. What's up? I'll let you boy. Jazz. I'm going to just take 30 more seconds just to get um, a milestone. Right? 30 minute video. I'm just talking about greatness and blending in with the background as I do all the time because I'm one with nature and I uh, don't gotta force it I just become and I am new book out again new products 
you don't have to um force anything you just have to become the force of everything and allow the universe to work its magic jazz holla at your boy us tv